What is going on everybody? CJ McFarlane here and today I am going to be reviewing the Arch Nemesis Bar from Bells of Steel. I'm pretty excited about this. I have reviewed some other bars from other companies that are a cambered bench press bar essentially and I'm excited to tell you guys how this compares to those and just my first impressions of my first workout with it. So unlike the layout of my other videos, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and work out with it and then I'll tell you a little bit about the bar and I'll show you the unboxing at the end of my workout. Hope you all enjoy this footage. Now that the bench press portion is done with the Arch Nemesis bar, I'm going to take it, hook it up to my lap pull down because that's one of the cool features about the Arch Nemesis bar and do some vertical pulls. Let's do it. All right, so I still get quite a few people that ask me about the knockoff mag grips that I got. Originally, I got them from Walmart, but I believe like Amazon and a couple other companies had these knockoffs. And I gotta say, I still use them. Obviously, it was still on my lap pull down attachment. Uh, this one, I've got a close grip over there on the belt squat. I, was, uh, I had my wife doing some close grip, bent over roads on the belt squat. And yeah, I mean, we use them all the time. I actually took two of these. I took the other like medium style grip and the other close grip up to LSU. And the staff loves them, the players love them. So they're a hit, they're good. We're gonna hook this one up. I was really surprised that I have enough room right here to do this. I thought I was gonna have to move the lap pull down over. So let's do it. All right, so I just wrapped up my first training session with the Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis Bar. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that in terms of bang for your buck, this might be the best cambered bench press bar on the market. Now, to take it back to the beginning, the packaging, yes, was a little messed up. I had a couple of slices in the box to where literally the box, if I just wiggled it a little bit more, it probably would have torn. And the bar itself wasn't tight in the package. Like some of the other companies will put styrofoam to kind of make it a little bit even and make sure that there's no wiggling around. This just had a sleeve of plastic, but you know, fortunately nothing was wrong with the product. It wasn't damaged. I really didn't see any scratches or anything like that on the bar. So that's great news. Now in terms of measurements, this bar is going to be extremely similar to the Cadillac bar from Kabuki. I'm talking about the measurement from left to right 
from the narrow grip, middle grip, wide grip is almost the exact same as the Cadillac bar. However, some of the other differences between this one and that one would be that this one is 78 inches long and the Cadillac bar is 87 inches. Now, personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. This bar is only rated at a 600 pound capacity, which there aren't that many people in this world besides some of the higher level power lifters that can get above that number. And that's exactly who Kabuki caters to. So they have a little bit longer sleeve length and they can hold a little bit more weight on their bars. I don't know about the specific amount. It doesn't specify on their website what it is, but I imagine because of who they are, it's got a high capacity. Now, one thing that I do think Bells of Steel did a great job at is making this spacing right here a little bit more narrow. This is only five and a half inches, which Kabuki's is seven inches, and then some of the other products out there that are similar are about seven and a half inches. And personally, I like having a more narrow space, so that way there's less chance of you messing up where to put your hands. Sometimes when you bench with these bars, if you go a little bit up or a little bit too far down, what's gonna happen is you'll unrack the bar and your wrist will end up be cocking this way or like that. It's very uncomfortable. And if you're taking a really, really big lift, you don't want to have to rack it, reset your hands, and try to get back into it. You want as little mess up or little uh, room for error as possible. Now, I will say this knurling, they say it's mild, but I've definitely had some specialty bars in the past that are a little bit more passive than this. But the Cadillac bar does have a little bit more of a, an aggressive knurling than this one. Now, some of the other bars, for example, I reviewed the Camber Bench Press Bar from Titan Fitness. That one had some knurling, and at the time I was slightly impressed with that one because there weren't many specialty bars on the market that had knurling on their handles. But personally, I am going to go ahead and say that I like this bar a lot more than the Camber Bar from Titan Fitness. And if you wanna watch that review, I'll go ahead and put like one of those little slide things up here. You'll be able to see the link and uh, you can click on that and check out that review. Now, a negative about the bar is the sleeve diameter, and this is something that Elite FTS used to do back in the day, and it was kind of understandable back then because they were one of the first companies to make specialty bars. But a lot of companies who make specialty bars have gone away from this, and I really don't understand or know why people do this still, but if you use a standard clip, this is just a standard one, you slide it on there, it's not going to help at all. It's just going to slide. And personally, that's kind of annoying, but what I will do is I will put a link down in the description to this product called Snap Clips. And those are pretty cool. We had those at Onnit because we had several Elite FTS bars. And they're, I think they're like $20, $25. They were on Shark Tank back in the day, which is pretty cool. But it's like the same concept as those old school bracelets where you would just slap on your wrist and they would snap in place. Same concept, they got this gripping material and they kind of latch on to the metal so that way they don't slide. So I'll put those down in the description. I mean, personally, it's just a better option because of the price than going with like a croc lock or the Alico ones where you can twist them down. Those are like 50 to like $80. So for collars, which doesn't make any sense. I'd rather just go with a snap clip, which will do the job. And since we're talking about the sleeves, I'm going to go ahead and address this one thing that I think is kind of funny. They have a pretty cheap end cap right here. It's just plastic. You can pop it off. Doesn't really serve any purpose besides making sure that you don't cut yourself on this sharp metal that's right here. So a lot of other companies, the, you know, the more expensive companies will have kind of like their branding right on the edge. So it's not a negative. It's just something I wanted to address on here. Now, one of the things that's really cool about this bar is how versatile it is. And you would have seen this if you watched me actually work out earlier, is that they have this extra little piece here. It's just this little piece and it's got a hole in it. That is so that you can use this as a lat pull down attachment. So not only can you bench press, row, uh, like a pin lay row or bent over row, you can also use this as a lat pull down attachment. And you basically have three attachments in this bar. You have a narrow, a medium, and a wide grip. And so it's really cool how they made this product so versatile. Now, one thing a lot of garage gym owners say is, spend the money, buy it once, don't make a mistake, and buy the same item twice. Personally, I think this product is good enough to only buy this product and only ever need this as a Cambridge bench press bar. You saw in my workout video, I did 385, I did that for three sets of one, 
and it felt really sturdy. It's a 600 pound capacity. So unless you're a mid 500 pound bench presser, you could probably go ahead and purchase this bar. So in terms of price, this bar is only $199. The Kabuki Cadillac bar is $499 plus shipping. And typically they do a made to order ship process. So the shipping typically takes four to six weeks. This bar, was sent to me in a matter of a week. So it's in stock and they ship it immediately. And you know, it's really good quality and it's versatile. Now, if you were to look at another affordable company like a Titan Fitness, they have for their Cambridge bench press bar, it's a little bit different. It doesn't offer the compatibility of being able to use it as a lat pull down attachment. And personally, I don't think it's as good of a bar, but it is the same price, it's 199. So if you were to look at versatility, this bar is gonna win because they're the exact same price. And that is my review of the Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis Bar. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I wanna go ahead and give the shout out to Bells of Steel for sponsoring this video and sending me this product to try out. I always appreciate companies who appreciate a world record bench presser trying out their bar and really putting it to the test. If you have any comments, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section. I reply to every single comment that comes through. And if not, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button so it can help me find other people like yourself who are interested in training products or just knowledge on training. Now until next time, stay strong.